Well, hello and welcome once again to another broadcast of What Nobody Told Me After 65. Well, it's your lady on the go, lady in the know, Miss Simpa. You are at Information Nation, where knowledge is shared and wisdom exchanged for the betterment of a people. Welcome. Let's get started. First, allow me to apologize. I am super late. Super late. Um, I started research on a, a project topic that uh, I wanted to um, get out at a later time and just got stuck. Uh, it was a documentary and I had to wait for it to finish. I couldn't rewind it. You couldn't save it. And then later on, I found it was a PBS documentary, and I may be able to go to the PBS archives and pull it back up, but no, I couldn't have done that. So, I was stuck watching it, so my apologies for being late, but you know, I gotta do what I gotta do, and I have to be thorough about it. But let's talk about tonight's topic, dance, dance, and mo dance. <laughs> As you know, this weekend I was out at um, the Urban Dance Classic uh, that was held at the uh, Doubletree Hotel here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, all weekend. Um, Friday night, Saturday, most of the day, Saturday night, and Sunday morning into the afternoon. And we had a blast. Well, I was sort of kind of working because... I really wanted to upload those videos, and it got to be problematic because of copyright issues. I didn't know. I assumed that everybody who, you know, did those kinds of videos, it was okay. I mean, two minutes at the most is a video. Two minutes, maybe three minutes. Um, but it's not like intellectual property that you can use so many lines, so many words, and not be charged. Um, but UMI and UMG and ooh, United Artists, yeah, they they flagged it. And uh, fortunately, YouTube um, allowed me to keep it up. I just couldn't get any compensation for it. Then I got to thinking about it. If UMA, UMI, UNG going to get compensated, hey. So I did pull one and take the music out of it. Yes, there was a video to show me how to do that. But anyway, I'm getting all tied up into that. It, it is what it is. Um, I took one for the team. <laughs> yeah, well, I took two or three for the team because I did manage to get some videos up. We had a great time. Um, uh, some things about the rules they had I wasn't too happy with but that's for another video another topic, another time let's talk about dance, dance, dance after the weekend I had I couldn't help but talk about dancing um, there were some bad dancers on that floor don't get it twisted because we are seniors we are Stepping, you hear me? Boots, shoes, footwear, headgear. Um, one woman was in a shorts outfit, just sharp. Anyway, all over the country, there are dance clubs, skating clubs, chess clubs, gun clubs, bubblegum clubs, <laughs> you name it. These clubs are popping up all over the place. And when I mean club, I mean a group. A group that have assembled themselves together, like-minded people, assembled themselves together and said, hey, let's do this. And that's what happened with Soft Toe Entertainment, which is the group that put on the uh, event. Like-minded individuals, the original owner, I think he's from Myrtle Beach. Uh, he, well, the original founder, put it together. They all like to dance. And again, them some dancing brothers. Don't take nothing from the sisters, but we outnumber them five to one most times. So when you get a group of men who are sharp, 
light on their feet, and very respectful. I give them all the props. So, there's all kind of different dances out there. I'm going to name some, and then later on, you can put some in the comments. I'm going to talk a little bit about how it got started, and then I'm out. So, here we go. Here's some names of some dance crazes or some dance. The bird. <laughs> the hurry. They got it as the hurry gurry, but I remember it. My mom calling it the hully gully. If you remember something different, chime in. The boogie, the boomerang, Broadway. Bus stop, the bunk, the chicken, funky chicken, the duck, the fly, free step, hitchhike. Hitchhike, hitchhike, baby. Uh, the horse, I used to like that. The jerk, the mashed potato, the monkey, the penguin, the Philly dog, <laughs> the robot, the shake, the shimmy, uh, Watergate, and uh, what didn't I say? I don't remember popcorn, but oh, the boogaloo, the boogaloo. The cha-cha, that wasn't on there. Lindy Hop, the grind, the slow dance, the twist, um, tap dancing. Remember tap? Uh, the, what, the Nicholas Brothers? They was bad. Um, and then there's stepping, the, or the two-step, where you have um, partners and you step. And we're going to talk a little bit about that because that's the whole basis of this broadcast. So where did the style of Chicago stepping, because everybody calls it Chicago stepping, that it originated out of Chicago, where did it come from that eventually it spread to the masses? During the big band era on the East Coast, swing dances uh, like the Jitterbug and the Lindy Hop emerged. The bop popped up in the late 50s and 60s when dancing at clubs and ballrooms uh, flourished in the cities. It was influenced by music from Chess Records and Motown. The Chicago bop was similar to the Philly bop, but in the late 60s, high school kids began changing the movements and the patterns from a circular motion to a straight line. The Chicago bop was cool, smooth, and less aerobic. You seen some of them black and white um, uh, movie videos they show? Them girls with the poodle skirts on, jumping over them guys' heads, and oh, <laughs> really? Um, it became less aerobic and with one hand because. I guess hand dancing or whatever they wanted to call it, it was um, two hands. You know, you dance with two hands. But uh, this became dance with one hand. So in 1971, the new bop was created as a result of a new song that was released by the JBs, and it was entitled Give Me Some More. I don't remember that song. I may look it up. Um, that was the foundation for we know for what we know today as stepping. The dance known as Chicago stepping evolved from the new bop and several derivatives of East Coast swing dance. Chicago step was brought into the mainstream in 2003 with R. Kelly's Stepping in the Name of Love and Happy People in 2004 with their iconic videos. Stepping is not just a Chicago thing anymore. It is everywhere. It is an Atlanta, a Florida, a California, Hawaii, Washington thing. And across the ocean, over the, across the pond, you find it in Greece, England, and Amsterdam. The DJ who coined the original phrase, stepping, 
Um, he was original DJ Sam, Sam Chapman. Chapman. Um, he was a DJ in the Chicago area, and he always felt that it was going to go a lot further. He knew back then that it was going to be practice all over the world. He's been on uh, Good Morning America, uh, a Chicago television station. He's an older guy now, still looks good, and he brought uh, two of his dancers on. I, I was amazed. And then um, they danced, and then they taught the, uh, the anchor, the TV news anchors, how to dance very quickly. Um, when Sam Chapman first started, his sets, they were called sets, um, were so popular, even the gang members who could dance, I mean, let's face it, after you've done hustling or doing whatever you do, on a Friday, Saturday night, you went to the club. So he was the catalyst who brokered a peace treaty between the South Side Gang and the West Side Gang. Gang members were not stepping into violence. They were in there stepping into love. <laughs> DJ Sam Chapman. Um, I think his daughter is still carrying on his uh, business. I don't know if he's living or dead, but uh, she did an interview, and that's uh, I'll put it in my sources. That's where I got some of my information from. Anyway, I had a good time. I hope you were able to enjoy the videos um, that you were stepping and figuring out some of them moves. Because I tell you, some of them folks was really light on their feet. By the same token, I want to thank those of you, my friend, Dear Daisy. I want to thank those of you who have joined um, the exclusive membership. I've only got two levels, um, Emerald and Sapphire. And if you're interested, please click on the membership and join. Um, also, I ask that you subscribe, like, share, hit the notification button, and watch the video to the end. That is extremely important. Um, Facebook page is up. Go over and let's talk up some stuff over there. Some things you can do over on Facebook you can't do on YouTube. Uh, I'm working on an Instagram page. Um, still can't seem to get them t-shirts together, but I'm working on it. And I have a new sponsor uh, for which after I sign the agreement, I will release it and reveal it to you. I think you'll be pretty pleased with it. And uh, for all of, of course, the sales that are made, I get a piece. So, listen, I had a wonderful time this weekend. If you haven't gotten out and danced in years, go out and kick your heels up. At least one Friday or one Saturday night, uh, look up a local dance, um, step dance uh, event or a bar or a restaurant that has it. And get out and enjoy yourself. Life is too short. Trust me. And uh, I didn't get a chance to show you all the outfits. Somebody asked me about fashion show and all like that. I don't know that I have the uh, time to really do that. I'm happy to share with you when I have a, a you know, a really cool outfit. Um, I really like shoes, so I may be highlighting that. And, of course, I'm changing my hair whenever I get ready uh, because I pay both. You understand? Uh, so, I don't know. I might be blonde next week, uh, depending on how the wind blows. I want to thank you so much for listening, sharing, and remember, you don't know what you don't know. Better ask somebody.